guys and welcome back to my channel and today is Monday I'm filming it actually on Monday I've been behind I have other videos that I need to edit for this coming week but I did not have my mommy makeup Monday so um, I'm looking a little bit crazy right now my hair just fully dried but I did this look and this is a full face of five below products I want to say it's kind of like um, a step, like literally Dollar Tree, five below right here. Um, so if you guys want to see this look, which if you guys want to see my honest review, keep on watching. Hey guys. Hi guys. So we are on our way to the store called Five Below. We're going to go get Squishy. Yes, so we're going to go get Aria a toy and then I also have seen where they do the makeup hauls. So I think that's what I'm going to do either. I'm going to do a whole transformation look because I know that they have clothing there too. But if not, I'll just do a makeup haul. Are you excited? Yeah. Okay, let's go to the store. it's because I like to let my hair air dry and I didn't want to wait I didn't want to have to wait till it dried straighten it get ready and then film this video so I'll just let it air dry with you guys I'm actually wearing my husband's t-shirt so let's dip into the bag I'm just moisturizing my face if you guys would like to see my skincare routine let me know in the comments Okay, now to get started, a lot of the products were from Wet n Wild, so I'm sorry if that's what you guys see. So the first thing is this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer Matte. So I'm going to go in with this. Now you guys know, or if you're new here, I don't really wear primers. I haven't found one that I'm like obsessed with. So this one's like a little cream. Looks like a cream. So I'm gonna put that on with my fingers. I wanna put that all over. So I normally don't go for a matte finish because I feel like I look, I start to look really dry, but because it is summer and in El Paso, it's always like 100 degrees, 90, 100 degrees. So I got to do this matte. So this feels okay. I mean, it literally just feels like I put moisturizer on, on top of my moisturizer. Next, we're going to go move into foundation. So I got this beauty blender. It's from, it says Gina Beauty Makeup Sponge. I'm a little bit nervous because the only makeup sponge that I really do like is the Beauty Blender. I've also tried the Morphe one and I'm, to be honest, I don't like it that much. This one is so hard, I'm nervous. So I'm going to go wet this and let's see if it expands. How can I show this? So this is what it looks like. Dry. And let's go wet it. So it looks super watery and it smells just like the one in the glass container which I'm a little bit nervous about because I do have sensitive skin so I'm hoping it doesn't break me out. So let's try to blend this. It hurts like I'm like... 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do, because it is taking me, it is taking me a while to blend out. I feel like it's kind of soaking up. The sponge is soaking up all the product. To be completely honest, the sponge is not working, and to give this a fair shot, because it, it's not looking too good, um, I'm gonna go in with just my regular Morphe brush. Okay, next up, I'm looking a little even more crazy now, but next up I have these photo focus concealers. Now I got one in the shade Fair Neutral and Dark Cocoa to kind of contour. I've been wanting to try to get into like cream contouring, I guess you can say. So I'm gonna test this out. I mean, I'm assuming you can use anything you want. It's your face to contour. <laughs> smell like glue and it makes me so nervous <music> completely honest with you guys this ain't it I am not liking the way it feels the way I look I'm looking crazy I'm still like trying to blend to in hopes of it looking better so let's get over that and what we're going to do next is powder so i got the wet and wild pressed powder in neutral beige once again the selection wasn't that big it's kind of like light medium dark okay so i can't find it i had it let me look for it because i bought this set and it's from Gina Beauty, also was a five piece brush set. And it has these really cute marble handles. Okay, I found it, so it was like this. I actually used it for my trip in California because I did not have a powder brush. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set my whole face with this. So normally, let's say if I did this harsh of a bronzer um, I normally will cut it with like loose setting powder but you know what let me I already put powder but let me try to get that powder and so keep in mind that I'm not like a beauty girl. I'm not a professional makeup artist. So imagine like just, so imagine just like regular moms or regular people like myself trying to use this inexpensive makeup. To be honest, I don't think it's worth it. Like there is some, there's some makeup that's between high end and drugstore that works so much better all over my face i'm gonna go in with this highlight contour kit and this one is by bi beauty intuition it was only four dollars so it doesn't actually like have it's like a cover cover it comes like this but i am gonna go in with this shade here as my bronzer and i did come with this brush I just dug my nail into it, but let's... Oh my god. A lot of excess. What I'm gonna do, I bought... So I bought two sets. I bought the other one that had the marble, and then I bought this one. And this one is by Chic. It was a seven piece set and it even came with like a little holder. This one was five dollars. Because so I want to use a little brush kind of for my nose. <laughs> so it comes with this super cheap. I mean, obviously it's five dollars, right? But it's cute. I mean, I guess. I'm just going to get a little bit of that powder. So what I'm going to do, because I am looking a little bit crazy, I'm hoping that with setting powder, it'll kind of calm down the look. 
or make it look a little bit better because it's looking extremely powdery and chalky on me. And I got the Muslims Matte Photo Focus Matte Finishing Setting Spray. It says Shake Well. Also has a really funky smell to it, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get the little blender so I don't have like watermarks because it's not a very like fine mist. Look, I look all wet. Oh my god, I might have put too much, but I want to like for it to melt into my skin and look good. That stuff got on my lips and it feels sticky. So with the setting powder, I feel like I put hairspray on my face. Ooh. Sorry, my, my hair is drying, so I'm gonna keep playing with it. Sure. I feel just yet. So I'm we still got same one. They have this like pinkish color. And then I also bought, this is the palette that I'll be using today. It's called Modern Glitz Day to Night from Beauty Trends. And they have this pink shade too, so I'm not sure which one. I'm gonna go in with this one because it's not as pink. I think that one was too light. So I'm gonna get that same brush that it came with. I don't see too much, but honestly, I'm looking in the mirror and I'm looking so cakey and like muddy. And to be honest with you guys, I might wash this all off just because I don't want to break out, but I'm looking super muddy. Next, I'm going to go in with highlight. And once again, they had this a little highlight here, but I also got the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlight Powder in Blossom Glow. So I want to try this out because I know Wet n Wild is kind of known for its highlighters mostly. Once again, okay, let me open this real quick. So this is finally like, mm, I don't know. Okay, I was about to say I like it, but then I kind of looked and it has a really holographic look to it. And it's still looking kind of chalky and, and it's probably just because of the base that I have on. It looks, it's kind of looks purple. So I don't think I like that either. Whew. Guys, yeah, I'm, I'm not feeling this. So let's just move on to eyebrows next, which is this eyebrow gel from love and i got it in espresso brown now the brush that it came with is too th i think it's way too thick so what i'm gonna do is the other two sets had brushes and I think I'm going to go in with the one that had the marble end. It's still kind of thick, but let's, we'll work with it. And then the one that had like the little swirlies, it did have a spoolie, thank goodness. With a smaller mirror. <laughs> this brush is also a little bit too thick. It's too thick. I mean, the brush is too thick and this is way too dark. But it kind of looked like the shade of my dip brow, so that's why I got it. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the other eye off camera and then I'm also going to try to shape them with the same pencil sealer that I used, the Wet n Wild, and then I will be right back. I've got my brows kind of carved. Um, I'm not too mad at it. So I'm going to go next with the same palette and I'm going to do a very simple eye look just to kind of see how it is. So I'm going to start off with this neutral shade as of course transition color. Okay, so my camera died. So I want to use my phone so if it looks a little bit different, that's why. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to dip into the darker brown, this one here, with a smaller brush. Which view do you guys like better? Do you like the way it looks with my phone or with my camera? I'm like kind of slouching a little bit now because obviously don't have I don't have a tripod for my phone. Aria broke it. The color's not, I mean, I feel like it's not too bad, but like it's something I can work with because I don't mind, I don't like to do a crazy dark eye sometimes. What I'm, I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to do a cut crease. So I'm going to keep building up this brown and I will be back. Okay, so I already did one. I am doing the other one now. I feel like this concealer dries super quick and you need a lot of it. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to try a flat brush to dip into that glitter. Okay, that's weird. Where's my camera? <laughs> I'm all trying to figure out how to use it through my... I'm nervous and I hope it doesn't get into my eye. So with the brush, it's not really coming off. So I'm just going to use my finger. And now feeling it in the pan, it is gel glitter, like gel glitter, I guess. It's not coming off. It's not working, guys. And it's not working. Ugh! The glitter is not coming off at all. Like, what's happening is it's getting, like, instead what's happening is the concealer is getting stuck on my finger. <sighs> and the glitter is not sticky on my lid. I'm really, I'm not used to recording on my phone, so... Look how it's not, it's not sticking to my lid at all. So I've already dug into it a lot and it's about to hit like the pan and it's not coming off. Like, look at this. This is not working. Like, this is like the biggest flop ever. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna end up going in with like this shade here. See if I can fix this.
Oh, I dipped into the wrong shade. I dipped into a light pink. My eyeballs are so sticky. I am honestly, I'm not feeling this. Any out of brushes from the cases. And I'm gonna use the little pen, the little thing that came with the eyebrow. And to be honest, I wanted to do like a wear test, but it doesn't look too bad. But look at that. Okay, so what I want to do next is let's put on some mascara. So this is the Wet n Wild Mega Volume Mascara. This is what the wand looks like. There's literally no difference. Why is this happening? So I honestly feel like I kind of put a clear mascara on. I don't see a difference. So let me show you guys the lashes. Like, oh, it fell. What the heck am I supposed to do with this lash? I already have a hard time putting on lashes, so I like the ones that do have a nice curve to it and a thicker band. It helps me put them on, but what am I supposed to do with this? I'm trying to bend it and look. I honestly, I don't know if I should try to put them on. Guys, there's no way. No freaking way that I'm gonna put this on my eye. I'm sorry, like I wanted to give you guys a full look, but you saw when I literally took it out, they went straight. Scaro's not working. Total flop, no. I'm just gonna try to put on a quick lip. I have these two. I'll put both of them on just so you guys can see it. These are the Omega Last Liquid Lip, Liquid Cat Suit, it's called from Wet n Wild. Okay, so here it is. This one is in the shade Behind the Bleachers. I'm just messing up this whole application. I feel like I need a little brush. It's not too bad. It's not it's not sticky, so that's a good thing. I don't mind the lip. Finally, one thing, literally one thing that I'm not mad at. Also not mad at it once again, I mean, let me swatch this one here. So they're not streaky. I don't know how long the wear is. And like I said, I really wanted to do a wear test for you guys, but this look is just not it. Final thoughts. Lipsticks, maybe. Um, everything else, no. I like the brushes. Not bad, brushes. Um, 
Now, other things that I did buy that were not makeup related, I got these. How cute is this? This is the one thing that I was excited about. So like I said, makeup was maybe a flop, but this is so cute. Okay, I spoke too soon. <laughs> I just noticed this. And I don't, Ugh, let me take it on my hand. So that's not cool. I mean, I'll still wear it. I'm not gonna lie, I'll still wear it. I think it's super cute. Now, the other thing that I bought that was not makeup related, where is it? Okay, found it. So I did buy a t-shirt because they had a huge selection of t-shirts. And I'm not sure if these are like women's sizes or if they are like juniors because I got this. But it was super cute. Now, so I am in between a small and a medium. Um, but this is a large, a large, guys. And look at how tiny. Let's see if I can stand up. So when I had tried it on, it fit me snug. Like it literally just fits tight fitting. But I'm not a large, so I'm not sure if this is like a junior top or what. And then it's 100% cotton, so you know it's gonna shrink. 100% cotton made in India. How weird, and this is like not on. All right guys, so final look. It's all right. Like, I'm not 100% mad at it. Will I go out like this? I don't know. Uh, I don't have anything planned today. Um, I'm sad that we couldn't put on lashes. Um, so I guess that's it for today's video if you guys enjoyed it please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already if you guys want to see more videos like this let me know of where you want me to go test makeup once again um we don't have a five below here in el paso texas but i know a few of you had told me that you did have one where you lived um so yeah do i recommend anything Honestly, sadly, no. Maybe the jewelry. Um, Aria bought some toys from there. There were so many other cute things like organizing stuff and decorations for like your house or like your vanity. I didn't end up buying because makeup alone or like everything that I bought and I showed you guys all together because I did a separate transaction was $80.89 and then tax was $8.29. So in total, $89.88. So that's it for today's video. We will see you guys on the next one. Bye. Thank you for watching.